I had four major roles develop over my decade with Shell. The first, of course, was the designing of communication campaigns from scratch or following them to the letter because they were designed in London or The Hague. The Hague is the global headquarters for Royal Dutch Shell. A lot of folks think it's an American-owned company. It is not. It is a Dutch-owned company. In the campaigns that I just created from scratch, principally with one of our manufacturing units to create a product needed in uh, refining, I was given carte blanche to be as creative as I could, and you're going to see some of the products. On the other hand, if it was a global project run out of Europe, I had to follow it letter to the T. The communication plan said, this month, this week, this communication is issued. This communication is written by, and it will be delivered ahead of time on this date. It will be reviewed, and it will be then uh, distributed. Very strict, very formal, very aligned. I became a change manager. I didn't really know what that meant, but I learned quickly that the role of a communications uh, guy or, or woman is to make sure that we're moving from the as-is state that how, somehow has to change to the to-be state and that there are milestones in this change. And each milestone is supported by a communication matrix. Deliver it by email, deliver it on paper form, deliver it in face-to-face -face sessions, town halls, put it on the regular agenda of meetings that are regularly scheduled. Get at it every way. Communicate the message, multiple media, so that people can't miss it. Moving from as is to be the key role of change management. I also evolved into the how-to person for billable hours consultancy. And it's critical that you understand the Shell model. The Shell model is, I was billed out to internal Shell customers or external Shell customers at thousands of dollars a day. Of course, I didn't get that money, Shell did. And the billable hours creates a culture that I'm gonna mention later on. And finally, I did over time become the trusted advisor to senior level managers. They would tell me the problems they were having with their direct reports and ask me for ways to help them solve their problems. They came to me with confidential information about teams that were for some reason or other dysfunctional and asked me to come up with ways to help them solve those problems. That was all within my role as a communications person. 